Good day everyone, happy Saturday, it's Sean, and happy first day of summer. I wanted to do this really quick video just to show you my new protective style for the next couple of weeks at least. Um, if I can go longer, I will. Um, I am installing some Marley twists. And yeah, I know they were all the craze over the last couple of years, but hey, who doesn't like a new protective style. So I have had two packs of hair in my possession for almost a year now and I haven't really wanted to do them on my head anymore and I decided to go ahead and use them up today. I had a few hours and I said why not? So I took out the braids that I had that you saw in my last couple of videos and just started uh, detangling again, taking um, finger detangling, taking out the shed hair, re-moisturizing, and then installing the twist. I had already washed my hair on, I think it was Wednesday, so I figure it's still semi-clean. Let me show you what I've been moisturizing with. So, I'm back. And what I have been using for moisture is a product that I have been in love with for um, pretty much about a year now. It is Sheeta Naturals um, Moisturizing Cream Detangler. And I'm also using the um, Moisturizing Spray and Curl and Lock Refresher. Both of these items have been doing wonders for my hair since I've been using them and I really haven't purchased anything else for my hair since with the exception of maybe some uh, oil. I also have her oil mist. Um, I think it's called Mist of Shine and I have more of the curl cream gel. I'm not using the curl cream gel today obviously because I'm putting in these twists but what I've been doing is um, I have two more twists. These are actually this is actually my hair versus the twist and I, I had one full bag of just a uh, uh, number four color and this is the hair that I'm using it comes in you know individual strands I use two strands per section and I end up using a total of one two three and maybe a third package I have a little head so it doesn't take a whole lot and I'm not doing them extremely tiny so what I have been doing oh sorry one of the packets of hair was a slightly different color so I said why not I'm gonna go ahead and use it all so I only had to I had two packages, I went to the store, got two more, and used one full one and like I said, a third of another. So what I've been doing to uh, moisturize and then style my hair is, first I undo this twist, and I only had that twist in to kind of keep the pieces separated. This is one full piece that I'm using, one full section of hair, and I've just been going through finger detangling. My hair was pretty detangled um, since it had been braided up for the last couple of weeks so I didn't have any real trouble there. I spray on the uh, moisturizing spray and I just kind of work it through from roots to ends and if I feel like anything is just a little bit more dry I just go back and spray that area as well and then I put some of the moisturizing cream detangler on it and a lot of videos uh, in a lot of the videos that I saw women were spritzing their hair with water and then applying their moisturizer and then installing the twist but for me I have found that not wetting my hair so much helps so that my hair won't shrink as much. So I'm getting the moisture from the spray and the and the cream detangler and I think I'll be fine and I'll and 
throughout the life of these twists, I will um, reapply as necessary. So next, I have my section separated in two pieces, okay? I'm going to take two strands of hair. I'm going to line them uneven, okay? And then I just pull them out to kind of fluff them out a little bit. Center them in between the sections. And then I twist to my left. So I am going to start these, uh, the, these invisible roots going to the right. So I'm going to twist this way. So I'm twisting to the right side of my hair, both pieces, okay? And once I feel like they are secure enough, I then start to twist. And I know you all have seen plenty of Marley Twist videos, how-tos, but I just want to show you what I did, what I've learned, and um, show that I am using the Invisible Roots method. And I just twist all the way down. I really like this particular color. It's a, like I said, it's a color four. Um, it works really well, um, blends really well with my hair. I wish I had used one color all throughout, but the next time I put these in, that's what I'll probably do. I just wanted to, I didn't want to waste a pack of hair, um, so I just went ahead and used it. So I'm just twisting all the way down. And you can barely see where my hair ends, but it's somewhere in about here, if you can tell, if you look really closely. I'm going to twist all the way down to the ends. Now that I'm all the way at the end, I just take, I hold the root and then I just pull the twist out so that it can be as straight as possible, as flexible as possible. And there you have it. There's my twist. And I'm going to finish this last one. And then these in the front I make kind of big, so I'm going to reduce them down a little bit more. So when I come back, I'll show you the finished product. See you soon. So I'm back and I am done with my Marley twist and I have to say I think I will enjoy these for a little while. Um, I think total it took maybe about four hours to do. Um, I didn't really gauge but it was definitely no more than four um, total hours. Uh, with some stop and go but here they are and I'm going to be honest with you this is only my second time installing these on my hair but it's the first time that I am installing them with the actual Marley hair the first time I did them uh, and you can check them out on my Instagram page they were the um, normal Kanekalon hair that you have to separate so it was a little smoother and it didn't really mesh well with my hair. And then I had that issue with trying to moisturize with a wet moisture or water-based moisturizer product. And it was just frizzy and it was just not ideal. But these I like because they blend very well with my hair, with the exception of the color ones. But I'll let you see. You can hardly tell where my hair ends, um, which I like. The length is not horrible. Um, here's the length. And, I mean, ideally I would like for my own twist to be this long. So I'm working on it. So why not practice? Probably take the ends and 
dip them in hot water just so they can have more of just a uniform look because I did have to go through and trim the ends from excess hair and some of them came out a little blunt versus that natural that natural fall so this is more of a, a natural just ending versus something like this one so I definitely have to take care of that but I think I'll be able to do a lot with these I am quite excited uh, I've already been playing around a little bit but I can tell they're going to be a little warm but that's okay uh, like I said, the moisturizing products that I use that I absolutely love and had to re-up on when she was having a sale were uh, the Sheeta Naturals products, the cream detangler, the um, moisturizing spray, curl refresher. Love those products on my hair. They make my hair soft. They keep it moisturized. I can skip a day and the product still um, is is very activated in my hair and even if I skip a few days uh, for instance when I took my when I washed my braids um, earlier this week I applied the product into my braids I just squeezed the product through and when I took them out today I really didn't have to apply any more but because I was doing the twist I said well let me go ahead and give my hair a little bit of extra moisture so I like them, I'm pleased with the work, um, and we'll see how long these bad boys stay in. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, thank you so much for watching. I know that there are thousands of these type of videos, tutorials out there, and um, you stuck around to watch mine, so I appreciate it. Check out my Instagram for styles that I do each day or ever so often using these Marley twists. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love and hugs. Bye.